So this is the Sony ICD-UX533 voice recorder. Um, I got this from Air Miles actually, because I had a bunch of Air Miles to use up and this was basically the only thing I could get with the amount of miles I had that might be useful to me. So I decided to pick it. I thought it'd be handy for recording voice for maybe YouTube videos or taking down some dictation, some of my thoughts and stuff for voice memos besides using my phone. Because <clears throat> what's neat about this is, it, you know, in the age of smartphones, everything's touchscreen, but this it's nice having some tactile hard buttons, something dedicated. Um, okay, so what did it come with? Came in a box, came with some crappy earbuds, this extension USB cable, which you plug into your computer so you can get this plugged into it, and I'll get to that here in a second, why, uh, why that's there. So to turn it on, you just push on the side button there, there's a slider, you have to hold it and then it boots up. It boots up fairly quickly. It has your stop record buttons, a directional pad, a play button to play back some, some audio. And I already tried doing a review and I tried to record the audio with this, but the only problem is because my hands are touching it, the mic picks up the sound. So I decided uh, just to go with the mic on my, uh, on my uh, camera here. And I did a little recording outside just as a test to show you the mic sensitivity, which is a feature that I was really interested in. And I'll get to that here in a second. So, um, what's the hard buttons? Well, it has a button here for to control the, the playback speed. Um, what that allows you to do is select how fast um, it, the, what you've recorded plays back. You can sound like Alvin and the Chipmunks, or you can slow it right down so you sound really slow. Um, and you can adjust all that in the in, actually on the LCD screen by using the directional pad. A return, uh, so it plays from A to B, so a loop. So you can set that on a recording if you wanted something to loop. A volume button, of course. Um, erase button, so you don't accidentally erase anything. It has a dedicated erase button that you have to push, and then it prompts you to delete a file. Um, on the front or the top, a stereo microphone, which is really nice, one on each side. Headphone jack to plug in your headphones. And an external... Um, port for a mic, so you can use a lapel mic, a condenser mic, whatever you want. You can, as long as it's got this, uh, I think, 3.5 millimeter jack, um, you're good to go. Now, has a spot for a lanyard and a L, uh, an LED here. When you when you hit record, it starts, uh, it comes on. So that's kind of cool. Then there's it's backlit LCD, which is handy has a menu button to go through the various options in the menu and there are a few things that you can go through. I won't bother to go through all of it. I will mention that you can turn on a beep sound for the menu. I turned it off for this review because it's kind of annoying but you can see there. So that can be turned off or on. You can set the time and date, the language, um, the memory. If you want to transfer stuff to an external uh, SD card it has a built-in slot for that. Um, and you can, what's really important, there's an auto, uh, there's a sleep timer, um, auto power off, so you can set all that stuff. But what I'm really interested in is there are some advanced features for setting the sensitivity of the mic and a few other things for the recording mode. But I, I won't get into all those, but the mic sensitivity is really good because you can select from high, medium, and low. And I did a test outside to show you what it, uh, what it sounds like and how it cuts out um, the various background noise because where I record sometimes there's a little bit of background noise and I thought this would be this this is really important um, okay has this slot here for a USB so you can plug it into your computer and transfer the files off you don't need any special software no proprietary software no proprietary cables which is really handy and again that's what this cables for so that this is kind of bulky to fit on the back of your computer sometimes or your laptop so that's nice, it hides away with a little flappy door. A spot for a lanyard on the bottom or at the top. A little thing here that keeps the it raised up so you can hear the sound out of the built-in external um, speaker. And it came with a rechargeable battery. It takes one AAA battery, which is really nice. Very standard battery, very common. And it's rechargeable, so when you plug this into any USB source, it will charge and there is a spot for an external micro SD card so it can increase your recording time uh, significantly. 
comes with built-in memory around, I believe, 44 hours. It can record um, at, uh, I think, 192 bit rate as an MP3. So, of course, you can also change, uh, that's everything I should mention, you can change the the various recording modes in here as well. So you can go really high quality LPCM 44 kilohertz, or you can record in MP3 um, in various uh, in various bit rates. So your recording time will vary, of course. But right now I have 44 hours. Um, I only have like a minute recorded on it. So uh, yeah, that's about it. it. You can there's a, a folder structure. You can go in and you can change all the names of the folders. You can add folders, I think, or at least there's two, four, five built in, and I've renamed some of them. Um, so yeah, that is kind of a quick and dirty review of this little voice recorder. So far, I've used it a few times. I really like it. Um, the sound quality is decent. I would record this, like I said, review with it, but. Uh, I don't really, uh, it, because my hand's touching it, it picked up all of that. But hopefully this little extra at the end here that I recorded outside will give you an idea of at least at the mic sensitivity. So uh, I give it a thumbs up. I really like it. It's nice and small. The only thing is I did look up to see what it's worth. And the price is well over $100. Maybe you can get it on sale a little cheaper. But, uh, you know, for a dedicated little device, I don't think that's too bad. Um, you certainly get what you pay for. I think some of the cheaper ones wouldn't be nearly as good or as useful. But, okay. Thanks. Uh, just stay tuned for just this little last piece that I append to the end of this video. So this was recorded with the high sensitivity. Let's just record it with the medium sensitivity. This is recorded on the low sensitivity.